Hello my friends and welcome to a new video. Today I'm going to talk about an innovation of Commerce, the e-pedal. The e-pedal actually looks a lot like the previously released C5 steering wheel. So this video will be a review of the e-pedal, but also a versus video against the C5 since they are so alike. Starting off with the design, it was already clear with the review of the C5 that the layout is an acquired taste. It has a very sleek and futuristic design. The buttons used are decent, but miss a tactile feeling that sort of click when pressed. The rotary knobs, on the other hand, work very precise and feel sturdy. The shifters are one of the smallest on any steering wheel I have tested, but shift very fluently and quiet. Both shifters and buttons are made out of plastic. The center board is a carbon fiber disc with a chrome ring around it to finish. The base itself and the frame of the steering wheel are made out of aluminum. The upholstery of the steering wheel is leather or a very decent leather-like fabric. When you compare the C5 with the e-pedal, you don't see a lot of changes at first sight. Of course, there is the difference in the ribbon. At the top, you have the red uh, ribbon on the e-pedal and the yellow one on the C5, but there are other differences as well. When we look at the display, so they changed the display on the e-pedal. It's completely black here, but it does the same thing as the one here on the C5, which is a bit more old school. I actually like the one, the old school one, but well, the uh, new one on the e-pedal is well equally as good. Another thing would be um, the buttons. It's stupid, but here the buttons, the, the, the value for the button is actually aligned to go right up. Uh, here with the with the C5, I had it that it was just a little bit crooked to value up. You couldn't, you can't just put it right up. It's just a bit that or that, but not straight up. So it's cosmetic, but they change it. So for me, it's good. Another difference is the stitching here on the steering wheel. So the stitching on the e-pedal is much softer, uh, much, much more um, aligned with the steering wheel itself. Here with the uh, with the C5, it is a bit rough. Uh, it's more rough and and it hurts more the, the the fingers when when you touch it. So this is also changed with the e pedal. When we talk about technology, well, most of it stayed the same. So it still is with an ex uh, a servo motor with the external rotor on it. Uh, the force that it generates is still it stays the same. Five newton meter with peaks to seven newton meter. Um, the, st I, the amount of detail that you get while driving it is uh, is the same. So yeah, it, it, I think for for internal mechanics for the uh, the force feedback itself, they didn't change a lot with the e pedal. What did change, however, is the uh, yeah the e pedal functionality itself, the the ability to accelerate and brake with your thumbs or with your fingers. So this is the only change in technology that I can see with the uh, e-pedal. So Camus is the first to implement this type of technology in a steering wheel. Now, how does it work? Well, it's a bit the same as with the pedals, with the with the load cell pedals. Um, the harder you press, the higher the signal. So if you press hard, you brake hard. That's just how easy it is uh, to, uh, to operate. Yeah. I almost forgot how good this base really was. I have been driving with the, um, the C12 for some time now of Camus, and um, yeah, well, it of course is that's a good base too. But that means that I haven't been driving the C5 for quite some time, and I really have forgotten how good it really is when it comes to detail. Uh, here also. It gets deeper, it gets deeper. Really nice sentiment. So underrated, so underrated this base. I really can't understand why 
uh, companies like Simagic get so much publicity, and Moza too, they get so much publicity, and a hidden gem like this, it gets, yeah, I, I won't say it gets ignored, but it doesn't get the attention that it should. detail and a very nice detail here also so um, what is new on this uh, on this uh, e-pedal base it's not no longer a c5 it's an e-pedal base um, is that you can use the uh, two pressure sensors that are built in the steering wheel as accelerator and brake now this is I you you get to you have to get used to it uh, the driving I or accelerating with your uh, with your thumbs and then braking with your thumbs after training a bit you start to get the hang of it I will notice that your lap times will improve too I do feel like I have the same amount of precision that my feet would be having on a normal pedal set. The problem that I see here when I drive is that after a while, um, well, you constantly are putting strain on this finger. Now for the brake, I don't see it really as a problem. So you don't have to brake constantly, you have some... Now I can freely move my hand around uh, without any problem, so my finger it stays in movement quite a lot. But with the accelerator it is different because for the acceleration you need to have your finger constantly on it and that is a bit of a a bit of a problem because in long stints like this if you have a lot of straight roads or you just don't have to uh, you, you have to accelerate a lot yeah then uh, after a while you you can start getting really cramps in your finger the software of camas has been a work in progress and i feel at this moment it already feels reasonably complete apart from the normal configuration for strength natural damping friction and so on you can find the maximum steering wheel rotation i think it is important to know that the braking and accelerating mechanism on the steering wheel is optimal when used with a lower steering range for some games that require a higher steering range like BMG or ETS ATS, I found the accelerating and braking very difficult because of the changing position of my hands on the steering wheel. So the e-pedal performs best on games like ACC or F1, where you can have a steering range of 540 degrees or less. The configuration of the e-pedal itself is straightforward. Set the minimum and the maximum and choose the curves for your braking and acceleration. The curves are very handy to customize the amount of pressure you need to apply. This is all preference. What I do recommend here is to lower the amount of force you need uh, to use for full acceleration as low as possible to avoid straining your thumb too much. A last thing to add for configuration is that you can also use the finger triggers just as a clutch and a handbrake instead of an accelerator and a brake. Compatibility for the e-pedal is PC only and they are not planning at this moment to have console compatibility for uh, the new wheelbase um, soon. The steering wheel itself cannot be replaced with uh, something that uh, Camus offers. However, there are companies like 3D Wrap that can uh, offer a GT steering wheel, for example, and um, enhanced shifters also for the C5. So are there any issues with the e-pedal at the moment? No, it is a new one, so there have not been any issues yet. But when we look at the Brother C5, well, there is one that sprung to mind. Uh, I saw, of course, uh, problems with firmware update, but that happens with any wheelbase. Uh, but the thing that I did see was that there were people having issues with the shifters of the C5. They are very small. And well, if you have a bit bigger hands and you exert a bit more power than I do, because I have relatively small hands, I don't exert that much power on it, then I can see that you can break them. 
so if you put too much pressure on them yeah well i would say that they are susceptible to breaking the pricing for the e-pedal is 279 euro this is 30 euro more than i had with the uh camo c5 uh is it uh, worth it the upgrade well that's up to you of course eh? For availability, you can order the hardware from their main website. Don't forget to use an affiliate link and with the voucher code NEOSFINGS, you will get a 5% reduction and also support this channel. Alternatively, you can also order it via your local Amazon website. As a conclusion, I can really commend Camus for bringing out these uh, new types of technology. Again, the first to bring out this technology. Will other companies follow? I don't know. Uh, the idea itself, is it good? Well, it depends. If I look at me personally, I would not use the functions of the e-pedal that much. The games I play usually involve me letting the wheel slide through my hands and accelerating at the same time. This is simply not possible with the e-pedal. When it comes to portability and all-in-one feature, well, I'm not moving my wheelbase anywhere else, so not that interesting either. So a use case for the e-pedal, I would say people that are on a budget, um, you don't have the, a lot of money, but you really want a good sensation. You can buy already the e-pedal uh, steering wheel. You have it. You have also already the, the, the nice force feedback and you don't need to buy the pedals with it. You can buy the pedals at a later date. Don't forget the C5 and also the e-pedal. They are the cheapest and the best bang for buck direct drive for PC out there. So I would say that is a use case, but also, for example, for people that travel a lot, um, if you want, um, I'm just saying you are a, a child of divorced uh, parents, you need to go from, from dad to mom. You can take your steering wheel in your rucksack with you very easily. It doesn't take a lot of space and you can drive at, at the other parent also. So it's a very, very um, interesting concept. I'm also thinking about disabled people, for example, people that can't use their legs. Well, you have uh, like in, in uh, with uh, the cars uh, as well, you have the acceleration and the brake available on the steering wheel. So also very, very good use case for, for this type of, uh, of steering wheel. So yes, the e-pedal certainly has merit and can be useful for a group of people. But for those like me that have space, can afford a decent pedal base and just love the old style of driving, it's not the most useful feature out there. And a C5 would probably be a better choice in the long run for $30 less. Thank you all for watching. I hope you had something from this video. Please leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want to see more videos and I will see you all next video. Bye bye.